I'm short, I suck at stones. What every person tries to tell themselves. Um, so, this, this video is uh, tips for stones for a shorter lifter. And my advice is to get very strong. Um, outwork your leverages. Uh, strength overcomes all, usually. Um, but yeah, always get stronger, obviously. That'll help if uh, an event is harder for you from a, you know, how you're built or leverage standpoint, getting stronger will help more than anything in that. But you also have to make sure to be as technically proficient as possible. So if you're uh, short and you pick up the stones with a wide stance like you need to, to pick them stones up because you need it between your legs. Um, and then you keep having that wide kind of sumo stance when you go to load, you're already shorter than you would have if when you brought this under your lap, you would have brought your feet together. You're going to gain a couple inches. Who doesn't want that? So think about make yourself as tall as possible. When I deadlift a car, I try to make myself as short as possible. I, pe I put my feet out as wide as the frame is, I put them forward, I kind of roll my shoulders, I do all these things, I kind of cheat. <clears throat> um, anyways, yeah, so I want to do the opposite on stones. I want to make myself as tall as I possibly can. And you better learn how to pick up a stone in a full squat position. That stuff where uh, people are almost all the way erect and then go to load a stone isn't gonna work if you're five foot six trust me I'm five foot six <clears throat> so you want to get in a full squat position get the stone all the way up on your chest up here not here this is my stomach this is my chest you want the, you want to get the stone all the way here on your chest hands around it so when you go to ext extend you keep pulling and pulling and pulling back and it's already here instead of here okay I just gained more inches so if I gained inches just by getting it high on my chest to start, I gained inches from uh, getting my feet together once I lapped it. I'm like six foot tall all of a sudden. Well, not really, but I at least uh, made myself taller when it counts. And uh, you really have to learn how to finish your extension if you're short. Um, who is it? Jacob Bodie won the Arnold like two years, two, three years ago. Well, not one, but he was the highest... Uh, place in American, yeah, in 2013, I think, or I'm wrong, I don't remember everything, um, and he's like, what, 5'10", 5 5'11", 5 and he loaded more stones than all these guys that are like six foot whatever, I don't know, anyone over 6'2", kind of looks the same to me, they're just tall, and it's because he has perfect technique, if you can find a video of him loading stones, it's awesome, you can also notice he has tall boots on, because every inch counts, so, Find triple extension. Keep pulling back, pushing your hips forward. You see a lot of people, they get, um, they do stones and they kind of, they'll lunge forward at the platform like this. And I'm going to make everyone sick. Can't keep lunging forward at the camera. Um, you want your hips, push your hips where you want the implement to go. So if you keep pushing your hips forward and you're extending back, that stone keeps going in this nice arc, right? Like, okay, here, let's get in frame. An arc. Because hips, stone, like, it's like this. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Um, <laughs> but if you uh, lean forward, so you have the stone here, and then you and you lean forward, the stone goes this way. It goes down, right? So that doesn't that doesn't work. Also, make sure to be close to as close as possible when lifting to uh, the platform or the yoke. So uh, to wrap it up. Put your feet together, get the stone up high on your chest, uh, get really strong, use triple extension, and wear kiss boots.